Wrapping this Hold up. On. There you go. Now it's on. Hi, you guys. We'll be home soon. We're ready to wrap this up. Who are thing you? Up. This is Floyd Houch Houchel from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Come on. Brian McCain, Louisiana. What are you going to say? Brian McCain from Louisiana. We're going to uh, come out of here with some teeth. Educate yourself. LouRockwell.com, Mises.org, and RebootTheRepublic.com, and FreedomPhoenix.com. Thank you. And the Revolution Continues hey. Edition. There you go. Brian Frank, South Carolina. If you're afraid of the Patriot Act, they should be afraid of us. Woohoo! You not gonna say something to your family at home? Oh yeah. Come on. Yeah. So Hi mom, got, dad. Send them an email and say, I gave you Sister, money. cousins, grandparents, blah blah blah. Uh, surprisingly I'm not in jail yet. Um, you will be. He's trying. I might be <laughs> soon. But not yet. We have I have not been detained. Hopefully that will not happen while I'm here. Um, but Hmm, wouldn't be the first time. Uh, later. Anybody else want to say hi, Mom, or say hi to people at home? No? Okay. Well, I love getting these people on here so that, that their loved ones that they haven't seen for nine days can see them and know how they feel. You know, we're here for you. We're here for our families. We're doing the best job we can, despite any drawbacks that might be holding us back. I got a message for Ernest Hancock, the Freedom of Phoenix. Hey, buddy. I know you know me, and I know you support me. I know you think this Continental Congress might be a waste of time. But you know, everybody's got to do their own part in their own way, the best they can, if they really care. I honor you for what you're doing in Phoenix. I really do. I'll tell you what, I've been busting my head up against a lot of problems here that you knew were going to be here. And you didn't want to come here because you didn't have to deal with those problems. Well, guess what? I took the mantle on. I came here and I've been dealing with these problems. You ask anybody on this, on this floor, anybody on this delegation floor, and they'll tell you, I've been a stand-up dude. I don't get down there and I don't talk at the mic because I feel this or I think that. For me, it's just been the facts. And I'll tell you what, you may not think that it's worth anything, but I was on the committee for the faithfully execute clause of the Constitution. And I put stuff in there where I pinned Barack o Pre President Barack Obama. I don't care where he was born. I don't care about the birth issue. I don't care about none of that. What I care about is... Under the Constitution, he is required to take care that the laws be faithfully executed. And we proved that there are laws that are not being faithfully executed, and we, we're sending papers to Congress to say, hey, look, here's the proof. We got proof here that this guy violated the Constitution, and it's your responsibility in the three, the, the three House checks and balances you have to keep them accountable. So, we the people order Congress to remind Mr. Obama that he has a responsibility to take care that the laws are faithfully executed. And they're going to remind him of certain laws that he has not executed and that he needs to make sure they are faithfully executed or they are to uh, start impeachment proceedings because he's not doing it. Then we're sending stuff to the states saying, send stuff to the Congress demanding that they hold his feet to the fire. And then we send stuff to the states saying, you got to contact your legislators and contact your legislature and make sure that they hold Congress's feet to the fire. And out of all of the committees that met here at the Continental Congress, I was on the one committee where we wrote instructions to the president saying, look, the Constitution says you have to do this. Do it. Now, if it gets, if it gets thrown into trash or it gets ignored, I understand your point. But you know what? If, if people get this document that we're going we're gonna to complete in their hands, and it makes them think about it. And it makes them say, hey, you know what? 
there right. I'm going to I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to sign this thing and we're going to hold them accountable if they don't. Well, we'll see what happens then, okay? But for right now, they've been going through the motions for 14 years, and I'll tell you what, some of the answers they've given us are the most absurd thing I've ever heard out of any human's mouth on the planet. And they're absurd on the face of it because I've talked to a lot of people that have nothing to do with this in the elevators, in the lobby, in the restaurants, I tell them, you know, we took it all the way up to the Supreme Court saying this is the law of the land, this is what it says, that we have a right to petition our government for a redress of grievances. And our government told us, you don't have a right to an answer. That resonates with everyone I've ever spoken with. Everyone has said, well, that's not right. Hopefully all those people that I talked to that said that's not right will someday, somewhere, trip, up, trip upon the document that we are going to produce here. It's going to kick something in their brain. They're going to... I, I don't think it's a matter of waking up. I think it's more a matter of finding their testicles and using them. Okay? So, it's funny that I was rushing around trying to get some stuff done while the body's in here taking care of business and I'm trying to do my best to make sure good things get in there or bad things don't get in there and I, I rushed by the the registration table out front and the ladies out there are so nice I had to stop and shake their hands and thank each one of them for for helping us you know the one lady said well we're part of you we're doing it too and I, I appreciate that but the other lady said you know in, in one word, one short sentence, can you encapsulate all that's going on here and what's happening? Could you? And I leaned over and I said, yes, ma'am. America is finding its testicles. And she said, you know what? That's beautiful. That's perfect. That's right on. So, reach down, America. Is it smooth or bumpy down there? <laughs> Working for you, Ed.